Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to install brake pads and rotors on your Subaru WRX. And so there's only a couple of tools you need. So the first thing you want to do is take off these two 14 millimeter bolts um, that hold the caliper on. So just use your socket wrench to take them off. And the next thing you want to do is just take the caliper off and rest it somewhere where the brake line isn't being tugged at. So next you want to take your brake pads out. Uh, it might be easier if you use a flathead screwdriver to pop them out, but I was able to just get them out with my hands. And then what you want to do is take the two 17 millimeter bolts that hold the bracket in place. So this is the first one, the bottom one. You might need to use a breaker bar, but I was able to get it with the socket wrench. And here's the second bolt. Um, it's a little bit tight in there with the strut in the way, so I had to use an extension and was able to get it out. And then next thing you want to do is take the rotor off. I wouldn't recommend doing it this way unless you're not going to use the rotors again because you're going to probably damage the rotors whacking it with a hammer. So we first tried it with a rubber mallet and it was stuck on there still, so we had to use the actual hammer. And it was really loud and I actually chipped some of the uh, rotors, so I wouldn't recommend doing that. Just another note as well, um, if you're going to actually hit it with the hammer, don't hit it too hard because you could actually shatter the rotor, which would be not good. So be careful if you're going to whack it like that, like we did. Alright, finally on to this next clip. So if you notice, there are uh, two holes here and here. And those are actually the pinch, bolt hole, the, yeah, the pinch bolt holes. So if you find the right size bolts, you can actually put um, you know, the bolts, you can screw them in. Uh, and what I would do is screw them into each hole evenly and keep going back and forth. And that will actually force the rotor off the hub, which is the proper way to get your rotor off because that way you can resurface it if you want to reuse the rotor or if you're just taking it off you can take it off and it's not so it's not so crazy like trying to whack it with hammers so that's the way I would recommend doing it alright so then you can finally take the rotor off and then basically it's just the reverse in there so we put on a new rotor uh, that's slotted so make sure if it's slotted you put it on the right way because those are directional and then just put the bracket back on put those two bolts back in here's the first one on the bottom so maybe have a friend help you push the rotor back against the hub. And then here's the second bolt. Just screw those in and then make them tight. And then make sure on your new brake pads you transfer the shims from the old brake pads. Or if your new brake pads came with new shims, definitely use those. And also make sure you put the right pad in the right side. So if you notice in this picture... Uh, you see the two circles and that's actually made from the piston and so um, that that uh, pad needs to go on the inside where the piston is so make sure you put the right you know pad where it's supposed to go all right so now what you want to do is take your c-clamp and compress the piston back in i like using an old brake pad so that way uh, it's just more flat that way and then put your new brake pads back in And then put your caliper back on. And then just put the two bolts back in that bolts the caliper in and you are done. Hope this helped you.